easiest way to succeed after marriage is business and i'm telling you if you build a child like that before the child is 20 years old he's a multi-millionaire because on the grassroots the money he has attacked his life is already millions but you will go to school spend from your kindergarten you spend so much when you finish university you have already, you're already on debt because your parents are you are supposed to pay them back seven million have you? So, so that's that seven million are supposed to pay them you're already in minus and you're already 35 years or you're already 30 years old and that's why you are now moving about looking for a job when your bones are already broken easiest way there is no way that you train your child in business and the child will be 25 he has not made it in life to be very hard no matter the cost upon his life at least the hardest way now to succeed in life is the school. You see, there is no way you can succeed as a student. You must reach close to 30 years. Many of you looking at me now before you make it with your school, you go past 30 years. It's not a prophecy, it's statistics. If you have gathered all that money and do business, you would have made it since. If you have gathered all that money or gather yourself, build character, find one serious person that loves God and is successful, you marry the person. You must have been wealthy already. But you went to school. You went to primary school, secondary school, university. You are still struggling, struggling. Now you are 30 something years old. You never finish the school. When you want to start the, the journey of making it, That's the hardest route. So you see, it's not easy. School is the hardest way to succeed in life. And that's the truth. Let nobody deceive you. Even before you start using your certificate, check your age, you'll be shocked. There is no way, even the people that enter university at 18, when will they graduate? If you want to do a serious course like medicine, at least seven years, I mean. So when you add those years to their life, before they come out and everything, no matter before you make it, you go down, they reach 30 years. But in case you find yourself in school, that's why we are talking this now. Why? You must be disciplined to study, to read, and to pass. Why? Because you have chosen that path. I just told you that one as bonus. Right now, all of you here, you have decided to choose school. And school you must follow. We have chosen the hard way already. So, the hard way. I give you brief wisdom on how to survive in school. Then we are done. But like, like I, said, I said, I say this for the future. future. Me personally, don't, don't be surprised, surprised if I give birth to children, not all of them will go to school. Anyone that tell me they don't want to go to school, I will support them. I will I give you seven million naira. If you blow it, my hand is off. But there must be at least seven million attached to your name because even if I'm to train you in school, I will spend about that. So I will designate that and ask you, what do you want? Marriage, I'll be one business. In the business, I won't give you all the money. We'll be giving you at least two, two hundred, five hundred. Give the business idea. Do you know Dan go take borrow money from me? He borrow five hundred thousand, blow it, borrow it again. That's how he did. And that's the truth. The one that want to go to school, train them in the school, but they should stay in the school and read. You, they are training in school. They are spending money, so you must read. But that's the truth. So how do you succeed in school? Discipline. It's true. Most people don't pay attention to their books. Don't make it look as if Jesus make you to fail. No. Be sincere to yourself. Tell yourself the truth. You are not disciplined. There is time for everything. When you are a student, every time is not for play. In fact, I believe every time should be for study. In the book of Timothy, it was Paul that counseled Timothy, right? He said, till I come, give attendance to reading. Give attendance to read. Be disciplined to read. Pay attention to your handout. Pay attention to your lectures. You are a student, you don't go to class. Which miracle do you want to happen? You are a student, you are not focused. Only you, one semester, you have dated three people. During tests, you break up. You cannot write it well. You now use one and whole body. When you enter the exam, that one break your heart again. At every season in your life, something comes to distract you. 
me have always believed if you are a student be focused on your academic as much as possible if you want to know my personal conviction if you are a student never enter relationship until you are about to graduate i know what i'm saying it. except you don't want to be very very focused relationship is capital intensive time demanding and everything how do you want to cope up and love will make you not to read yes as if you have a lover that have sense that know how let's read together help you to read time for exam you are making call for two hours after the call you now go and sleep you are dreaming about the person will the person come and help you write the exam <laughs> she's about to enter exam you say baby i miss you miss you for what you are going to confuse her. She render the exam. She will be seeing your picture and your this everywhere. Let the person see carbon and oxygen and uh, formula. Be focused. Many of us are not disciplined. I'm telling you, we don't pay attention to our books. We spend so much time with our friends and all of that. We neglect our books. Your book has to be your friend. You must love the book. I'm telling you. It's very, very important. Understand there is a spirit of understanding, a spirit of knowledge. But it will never work until you pay attention. Is that okay?